Hello reptile lovers and welcome back on my channel. My name is Sven. This year is Woody. My son Even is in school right now, but I built this nice enclosure with him together. And if you're new to this channel, what is the channel all about? This is a documentation of building a huge monitor lizard enclosure. And if you miss a series or a video right now, just click uh, up here on this link. You will see a lot of videos of how we both build this enclosure right now. And today, today's video is part one of building uh, naturalistic jungle vines. And why I will build this stuff, I will show you here on my enclosure. Let's go. Good, okay, let us have a quick overview of this enclosure. So, for all of you who watch my video, who they already, already know that I have this side here, over here. This is the jungle part. And over there is a little bit free space. There is this pond. And let us have a look inside. All the plants are growing very good and look here just for testing I have set up the pond and there are a few fish in here and these fish already got babies <laughs> so the first babies in this enclosure okay let us walk around here so and I am um, was thinking about what kind of monitor I want to put in here and I think I I really will go with tree monitors so and these guys they need a lot of climbing space so and over there it's okay there are a lot of branches but over here I don't I just have this big one but the problem is this glass and this glass is glued in it's fixed and the front is a sliding door and the corner over there is a sliding door so let us walk over here so i was thinking about putting a lot of branches over there but if i want to clean the windows or work on the pond it's really difficult to take all the branches away so what is the solution I was checking the internet and I, I saw a lot of nice videos of building naturalistic uh, jungle vines. And these vines are flexible and I can put them on hooks and then I can bend them like I want in here. And if I need to work in here, I can take them away. And I think this is the best way to fill in this big enclosure okay and what i want to use for material i will show you in this video this video is just part one because it, it takes a, a little time to build this but let us check what we have to get to build this jungle vines okay let us have a look what kind of material you have to use to build this vines so first of all you need a garden hose this old one I have laying around this is a, the, the main part and inside those garden hoses there will be uh, a nice wire and this wire will will be for bending the vines so and then uh, in the videos I put in the description and you can see you can use three or four hoses next to each other. This guy uses four hoses. These will bend inside and then you have a nice vine. And after this you will cover all these hoses with this stuff here. This is called Elastopua. It's a 2K material, you can mix it together, don't forget to put some color material, I choose a brown one, and then 
you will put this stuff of all the piece of this hose. So you will cover all the holes, you will see because of the yellow color if you miss a spot. So do it carefully. And after this, you can put those cocoa fiber inside the wet elastopur. And then you have to wait for maybe 24 hours and then it's dry. The nice thing about it, if you build this mines, you can pre-bend it like you want, but after it's dry, you can still bend it. It won't break or something, so you can put it inside the enclosure like you want. So you also need some pliers to cut it, something to measure. Yeah, this is part one, I think. Let us start to build one or two of these things. I think I will go with three wines. Okay, let us see how it works. Okay, the first step will be to get the right length of these hoses. Uh, I will cut four pieces and I will go with uh, two and a half meters. And because of the bending of the vines, the vine will be smaller at the end. Maybe it's only with this bend only two meters. But this is a huge uh, enclosure, so the first one I will go with two and a half meters, and then I will build two more. Okay, I cut the four hoses, and now I will uh, slide through those um, those, 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 those wire and then I will put it through and uh, leave it a little bit longer so I could make a nice uh, ear uh, so I can hang it into the enclosure so let's go for it Here I put all the wire inside the hoses and now I will uh, bend this together and then I will hang it on top of the ceiling and then I will bend the hoses so that I get a nice wine. Let's get started. Good, you saw like I bent this hooks on top of it, then I put a big zip tie on it and then the easiest way is to put this on the ceiling. I have a nice hook over here and then you can bend all the hoses together. Let's get started. Okay, here you can see how I do it. I just bend the, the single ones over the double ones and then you will get this nice straight. 
structure. Okay, a little bit work left. Okay, that's it for today. This was part one to try to build uh, jungle vines out of this garden hose and wires and stuff like this. Uh, this one was the one I built in this video. You see, it is straight right now, but you can take this to your enclosure and pre-bend it like you want. It's still flexible afterwards, but you can pre-bend it. And then in the next part, like I told you, we will use this elastopur. I think I will go for, a, for another one of these, a smaller one, because I don't know uh, how durable or, or uh, how much I can um, use or how much vines I can uh, build out of this stuff. But because of this 2K material, it would be sad if I had something left and I don't and I have to waste it. So I will build a third one, a smaller one. I can use it. I don't know where, but I, but I will find a place. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the part or the first part of building this naturalistic jungle vines. And if you like this kind of content, click up here in the video description. There are a lot of more videos how we built this. And if you give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to this channel, that would be awesome. A lot of people had the chance to find those videos and maybe somebody should get a little bit help out of this video. So you know how YouTube works. Thumbs up, subscribe. That would be perfect. I say thank you and even say thank you. He is in school right now, but I know he would say thank you to you. Okay, we will see us on the next part and then it will get messy. Okay, bye bye and stay safe.